Also, come on. I mean, patricians, how often has Anna done you dirty? So Jazz is join, opening up this join, episode. Join this rebellion. Jazz has we not stopped win. talking. We all win. We all win. As you might have figured, this is the next episode of King of the Castle, and Jazz is trying very hard to uh, thwart me and my my reign, so we'll see if this happens this episode. But, y'all, just so you know, um, uh, we're playing this on Twitch because this has a lot of cool Twitch integration. And if you're interested in joining the next game, go follow us over on Twitch. It'll be fun, I promise. All right, Jazz. Truth and lies. We're playing a game of chess in an austere castle. The two counts of the East discuss their schemes against the crown. By the blood of the dead, the monarch must get a grip on the kingdom. Okay, okay. We can't allow them to join our secret society of immortals when they can hardly keep the crown on their head. The Count's aim is to raise authority to at least five. All right. Whew. Okay. I don't have an heir yet either. I need an heir. Join our rebellion. Don't join it. Don't do Patricians, it. Make the game last. Lemon My Square heir is leading it. Your quest for an heir is finally complete. You stand before the council holding a small child in your arms. Should I die? I ask the crown may pass be passed down to. I hope we get to eventually name the child. I hope so too. That'd be great. The council hall is filled with nervous silence. Meinen, meinen Date. The assembled nobles break into polite applause. By designing, by designating an heir, you've cemented the stability of the kingdom. Your majesty, may I be the first to congratulate you on the birth of your daughter? <gasps> what is their name? Boy, Boy King, King CEO, CEO too. <laughs> Most <laughs> pleasing. <laughs> I am sure Boy King CEO too will grow up to be a chip off the old block. Let's hope not. I've done terribly this game. <laughs> I hope Come my on, daughter does better than me. We oh, have the yeah, final battle. The Let's go. Come on, rebel some more. Peasants on side. Let's take a just, look at the just peasants. Do a little, just do a little rebellion, please. Deep in the desert, the group of rebel grandees have gathered to discuss the civil war. With them are their spies, a cluster of nondescript southern citizens in ordinary clothes. Greetings, righteous friend. I trust the ninth guide you path. The ninth, no doubt, wishes monarch boy king CEO's reign of tyranny over. Okay, charisma. That's precisely why I invited you here. Now, the counts are in the monarch's pocket, but are there peasants? Oh, jeez. Oh. Conte Lilac Starlight has amassed vast wealth even in the time of conflict. I doubt it's shared with the ordinary people of the East. Our spies should spread the word. We'll be kinder to the peasants than Conte Lilac Starlight and their corrupt compatriots. Okay. Praise the ninth. Let us decide how to proceed. Okay, let's see. All right, grandies. Oh, we want our military to go up. Promise riches to those who move or enlist in the east. Set aside bountiful farmland. Give a huge amount of actual money. Use the spies to improve our tactic tactical military position instead. Look, let's use our money. Spread it around. Let's get the military up. Don't get the military vote, up. Vote C guys we're in a battle we gotta we gotta we gotta like ensure that we have a victory oh yes. you're all yes. lucky you're in my chat grandies. right now and not in my room i'm just saying <laughs> oh do you hear that do you hear that Edda is threatening you no it was a sexual what, come on uh-huh y'all <laughs> should rebel Trust as spies pour, or pour into the east, spreading word about the generosity of the grandees. It's not long before the plan bears fruit. Droves of peasants make a dangerous trek to the south, a golden glint in their eyes. As the troops clean their weapons, make repairs, and heal their wounds, one thing's for sure. They'll soon have a chance for some action. Hey, 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 that's because I flirted with y'all. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Hopefully there will be enough of the kingdom left for them to enjoy once this is over. Oh my Rebel. god. Rebel Fi with the us. final Please, battle. More. I don't like that this is the final battle. A month ago, battle was averted, but the battle cannot be postponed forever. The counts and patricians are all that stands between grandees and the capital. A final battle deciding the fate of the kingdom. I'll send word to the patricians that it's time to strike. Your one army patrician. Yeah, my one my us. one guy. Could have joined us. Rebel. 
We can only hope they listen to our orders, Your Majesty. All right, patricians, you want to send the joint forces of the patricians and counts to fight the rebels or hang back and let the grandees march on the capital without challenge? Why don't you just hang back? You're going to get destroyed. Don't My hang back. Army to the, your counts, the counts joined you. You will be you. destroyed. Listen, there's a zero percent chance. Me. But you should, with me. you should do it anyway. Y'all have no chances. You should just rebel with me. Y'all are me. Come join me. I have the best trade. Y'all like trade? Come on. Just join me. I'm very upset. Jazz, just, you can't just see it, but I'm very upset right now. <laughs> rebel with me. You send off the marshal with your orders and wait anxiously to hear the outcomes of the battle. The next few days are agony. And after that, I'll set fire to the ashes. What in Celsath are you blabbering about? So you don't seem pleased. Uh, everything go according to plan? <laughs> Instead of engaging the enemy as we told them, the cowardly patricians and the craven counts just hung back, stayed out of the way. They allowed the troops of the Grandies to march right by. Probably gave them a cheery wave, but now they're nearly at the capital and there's no way to stop them. What? But why? I s I'll see them flayed, battered, and served as a side dish! Listen, I'm angry. I'm sure they're planning similarly creative punishments for you. And at this point, they're more likely to see them through. We're defenseless now. Gosh, y'all are so mean to me. <laughs> I've literally done nothing because I'm a boy king. And I've, like, spent... It's like you the movie... You have done so many things, it's, Anna. No, it's like the movie Blank Check. Like, all I no. did was buy myself a mansion... And but have a party. That wasn't yours. Yeah, it doesn't matter. I didn't you harm also, anybody. You also sent so many people to jail. I sent one person to jail. It. One you person. Even, you didn't even help me. And then all you wanted to do was use your blank tech check to pay a bar to sing about you. <laughs> Listen, it was a good song. <laughs> I'm weak to barn song, okay? <laughs> You would have done the same thing, Jazz. CEO of our kingdom. You would have done the same thing. You also said no to my battle nuns. I said no to your battle nuns because I've already chosen nuns. I've already lived with nuns at high school, okay? <laughs> We're defenseless now. The southern army will be camped outside the walls in a matter of weeks. If we want to see the year's end, we must build up fortifications, stockpile fo food, and train up citizens and militia. What happened to our fucking spiders? Just send them out. It's time to pray to the ninth, your majesty, because apart from him, we're on our own. He's the not even with not us. With He's you. with the grandees. Yep. <gasps> we just need a few more people to rebel, guys. Don't Look do it. That. Don't do it's it. It's getting close. It's getting I'm close. the season us. before you can rebel. Oh, vote C. Fellow grandees, vote C. We need to maintain our military. Don't let them. Counts and patricians, don't let them get it. Vote for military for you. How much money do I have? Vote, your, vote for B. Or stability, or any anything oh. but giving the grandees anything. Okay, go. Yeah, give us our military. Jazz, you only funded 300 gold. You have like a thousand. No, I only had 900. You only voted for a third. You only gave a third of your money up. Sounds I only have $600 left. Yeah, you could have given it all, but you're you don't even believe in your own... Your own military. You are like, I'll make everyone else put in money. You hear that, grandees? Okay, Jazz is making you use your own money instead of putting her own money into this. I've already put in my money. I'm, I'm at 600. I'm at 600 gold. Yeah, you only put in 300 when you could have put in 900. I'll hear this. Boy King has been playing with your wealth this entire time. I have not. Not as Jazz has been playing Boy with King your wealth. She's making you fund her war. Funded a song for two thousand gold. It was a her. good song. It was on the top <laughs> of the pops for forty weeks. But what did that pay you? Listen, my kingdom burned. My kingdom did not burn. Teacup. For the glory of the Grandies. No. <gasps> Look at that. The military is going up, y'all. Both y militaries are going up. It was join even. Us. Join the rebels. We just need one more point. Share on our victory. A Rebel. crown. Besieged. Listen, for uses for spiders. Let's come on, come on, come on, come on. Let's let's get some armies. Rebel. 
Greetings, your majesty. I was the fella tasked to look after the spider eggs. I'm so sorry. I am pleased to say that they've grown up into nice, plump, young specimens. Don't use plump to describe spiders, please. I hate oh that. Oh, God. A house cat. Biggest house spider. cats and near as tame. Wonderful. You successfully domesticated them. Oh, sure. They're like little lambs. I like to tuck the... Oh, my God. Into bed with me and let them scurry all over at the end of the night. Oh, this guy has a spider fetish. The wife complains, but I tell her not to worry. They're harmless if you breathe through your nose. Emilio. I suppose this means we should decide. <laughs> Emilio. What? The mighty duck man. <laughs> <laughs> what to actually do with those damn spiders. Train them as steeds. We increase the military. Milk them for venom. Um, venom. Venom. Um, 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 or harvest their skills. Or their silk, not their skills. We're not gonna milk them. That's gross. Do you wanna do you wanna grip a spider teat and milk that shit? No, you don't. No, that comes from your teeth. I know. I was exaggerating. Spiders don't have teats. That'd be weird. I mean they're fantasy spiders, they might have teats. Straight up spider nips. Spider nips. Spider nips. Spider nips. Listen, I think you all should vote C. Harvest their I silk. Think, I think y'all should vote A and then join my rebellion and then ride the spiders into battle. You ain't riding my spiders away. Why do I always end up with spiders in this goddamn game? <laughs> I want those marshmallows. Okay, now that if you guys get these spiders, steeds, you have to join my rebellion. Do they? Think about it. Think about Anna being overrun by a giant spider army. No. I've already... Oh, it's tied. I'm going to continue. Uh -oh. Wait, I got to vote. Oh, shit. I didn't vote. Oh, looks like you ran out of time, <laughs> Jazz. Voting is tied. I will harvest their silk because it ups the trade and military. You order the spiders sent back to the farms and regularly harvested for their silk. The silk has many miraculous properties. It makes for incredible sales, allowing the East trade ships to carry cargo. Oh, no. Oh, wait, yes. Oh, yes. Trade is now poor. Let's go poor. It could also be woven into lightweight armor that deflects arrows, though they still leave an ugly bruise. Military is capable. Let's go. Soon, even Count Emilio is forced to agree that the spider industry was a fantastic idea, despite the initial misgivings. Emilio, I told you. Join the rebellion. Come on, Patricia. I'm, I'm leaving the war stuff for the end. A ground shaking discovery. Over the last few days of the siege, the capital has been plagued by minor earthquakes? Okay. First, there's a fire of demon fire. What happened to the demon, by the way? Yeah, that's a good question. You hired somebody to deal with it. I guess it's fine. <laughs> Who knows? The problem what... solved, right? Yeah. Hopefully, the demon comes and destroys you all and lights you all on fire. No, the demon's gonna take uh, advantage of you. He already did! He's gonna burn your whatever remaining army you have. <laughs> oh my gosh. Faith. Where. Why? I'm like in the wrong. I Thank accidentally. So Thank you for that resub. Drop them bears, you guys. I somehow went into the wrong um, dashboard. <laughs> this whole time. Patricians. Oh! I'm in the wrong. Well with me. Okay, hold on. It's because I was on mine. I wasn't on my other one. There we go. There you go. All right, Faith Otter. Thank you so much. Okay. Hello, uh, Patricians. Rebel. Rebel. Finally, your martial claims to have discovered the cause of the problem. Is it traitors? The Grandies are digging tunnels under our walls. <laughs> By Xena's ashes. If the tunnels get dug, the grant let's just flood the tunnels. Just, just, just pour lava in the tunnels. The Grandies and all their troops could boil up the underground anywhere in the city, even your very throne. Is uh -oh. that true? <laughs> Not exactly, Your Majesty. They don't have time to dig tunnels that allow them to peer deep inside the city's interior. But if they appear anywhere inside the walls, it's a problem. I've placed bronze bowls of water around the inside perimeter of the city walls. Judging by the size of the ripples, we've worked out where the tremors are coming from. Oh shit, Marshall, you're smart. 
It's a rough measurement for certain, but we must act now. What would the council have me do? Flood the tunnels! Don't flood the tunnels! Dig counter tunnels. Don't do that. Smoke them out. Counter tunnels. It's counters tunnels. I'm gonna reverse vote. Okay, so then flood the tunnels, guys. Obviously, you want to flood the tunnels. No, dig counter tunnels. No, don't dig counter tunnels. You want to flood the tunnels. Look, we all. I want you to flood. I want you to flood the tunnels, but don't to too many of you vote. A swim. Just a couple. Okay, everybody vote for something else now. Okay, that sounds good. Okay, okay. Okay. No, no one vote anymore. Just stop voting. Grandies are waiting to vote. No grandies well, have voted. I don't think we're allowed to vote. Oh, because you're rebels? Yeah, rebelling. Oh, shit. You can't vote. Suck my dick, grandies. <laughs> you can't vote because you are traitors. We're going to flood the tunnels. After days of exploratory digging, your tunnelers meet up with the southern tunnels and frantically evacuate. I diverted the tread water directly into the enemy's tunnels. Good job, Marshall! Flushing away their wooden braces along with their miners. Unfortunately, this caused the tunnel to collapse. The tunnel that was under our walls. Oh. Oh. A section of oh. our wall partially collapsed into the resulting a sinkhole and hundreds of southern soldiers swarmed in. We did it, boys! What? That's not fair! Boys, we did it! No! We're in! No! We're in. No! And there's no God! No! There's no battle with us to save you! That is not fair! That was a brilliant fucking idea! Yeah, it was until it wasn't. Oh! I'm so upset! You cannot! You cannot give me an option that is a great idea that should have worked! Oh. <laughs> I'm so upset right now. I'm so upset. I'm I'm so upset I need a moment. <laughs> this is why you can't let boys be in charge of the kingdom. We fought them off, but only barely, and who knows how long the barricade will hold. I'm so upset. Oh, y'all y'all should just join our battle. <sighs> the grandees march through the crownlands, pillaging and burning. The roads are ha heaving with refugees and corpses clog the rivers. Now the capital is surrounded. You stand on the ramparts of your palace, staring out in dismay. Yeah, I'm very dismayed at the army camp stretching for miles outside the city walls. Get down from there, your majesty, if they... They look like ants. <laughs> if they get lucky with the crossbow bolt. Yeah, they look like ants from up here. Yes, well, even ants are terrifying in enough numbers. After all, someone's kicked their nest. We have one hope. The Counts and the Patricians are still out there, Your Majesty. Their combined armies smashed the rebels in the last battle. They did? I don't believe that. And they can smash them again. I hope they get here in time. <laughs> You're right. I, <laughs> I'm ever hopeful. The glass oh. is half full. If you finish your sentence... Oh, as an immense trebuchet hurls a 10-ton boulder towards the capital, it crashes into a nearby clock tower, smashing it to smithereens. Like I said, Your Majesty, you better get inside. Patricians, join us! Why do you fight for this this king? Because oh. I'm a boy! I am a child, Jazz! You all are gonna murder a child?! He only attacks uh, the, the, the counts. I think the patricians have joined us. Did you join in them, Patricians? I think they did. You can't tax them anymore. You. The common tax, I guess. I don't need money. Awkward, right? Oh! Yes! Shit! <laughs> Fuck everybody in chat. Y'all are mean! Try the, the rebellion. I don't have to click it. I don't have to click it. Y'all, so rude. Look at my boat. One of those is my boat. I'm gonna come I'm gonna, back and be like, I'm gonna, oh, gonna sink shit, your boat. Happened? I'm gonna sink your boat. Good GGs, y'all. I'm upset, but GGs. We did try. <laughs> 
I, actually, I haven't seen this ending, so this is actually pretty cool. This, this is actually cool, yeah. The sun rises on a city in turmoil. The grandees begin their assault last night, and since then, you heard nothing outside but screams and howls and clashes of blades. I just feel bad. Like, I effectively did nothing. Half the capital is in flames. Oh, God, my capital. Soldiers rush back and forth, shouting panicked orders. You haven't seen your marshal since the night before. Perhaps she's already dead. <gasps> Did you kill my marshal? The royal court is empty except for you and your daughter. Oh god, you're gonna kill my child! Cradled in the arms of her nanny. Her crying is giving you a headache. I'm like, shut the wow. fuck up, child. <laughs> Boy CEO too, shut up. I'm, I've got a headache. <laughs> your husband left you. Last night he gathered his retinue and struck out and escaped the capital on his own. Oh, shit. I'm very upset. You offered to accompany him. He refused. A monarch should die on his throne, he said. <gasps> Whoa! He couldn't even compliment me as he left? Rude. You wait and stew. Outside, the screams and clashes get louder. Finally, your spy master arrives. Thank you, spy master. Save me! Her face stained by smoke and blood. They'll be here any moment, your majesty. You must saddle your horse and escape the city. Yeah, fucking show me where to go. I'm not dying. You follow the spy master down through the hidden trap door behind your throne. The nanny accompanies you, still holding your daughter in her arms. The capital is lost, but you can get it back. The counts have agreed to shelter you while you plot your revenge. Oh, oh shit. At least some people are loyal. After crawling down a secret tunnel for what feels like hours, you spill out into a leafy courtyard. Three horses are waiting. As you saddle them up. Okay, I take it back, chat. You're all wonderful people. You're beautiful people. As you saddle up, you hear a wet thud behind you, following the sound of something falling across the floor. Turn around. Your spy master's like, <gasps> dead on the ground? Her head is missing. Grandy Risa Kuma stands over the body, flanked by a dozen soldiers, their scimitar stained red. Oh, shit. Yep. Never liked her. Oh, never oh, liked that's her. Idea is above her station. Your nanny runs off, still clutching your daughter in her arms. At least there's a ray of hope. Even if you die now, your heir still lives. She will get vengeance. Let's let's talk about this. Listen, <laughs> listen, let's talk about this. What's the point in so? Oh, you go, What's Jazz. What's the point in peeking to a dead person? Why do you have to kill me? With a triumphant smirk, Grandy Rizakuma makes a sharp gesture. The southern soldiers step forward, swords at the ready. May the ninth god have mercy on your soul, sinner. Uh, I'm gonna turn and run. Fuck this shit, I'm out. G GTFO. You're caught before you can make ten steps. Instead of killing you, the soldiers seize you and drag you back toward the palace. Your ordeal isn't over! After a week rotting in your own dungeon, you're marched out into a public- Oh god, they're gonna publicly execute me. During at by the thousands of peasants, you cringe under a barrage of rotten fruit and fresh dung. Oh no! You're throwing poop at me? Really, grandies? I wasn't that bad! I wasn't bad enough for you to throw poop at me! Grandy Risa Kuma sits in the front row, grinning. Risa? I will never forget this. The rebels have won. The capital has been taken. You are a former monarch. Okay? Okay? Just let me live in, in like, squalor, okay? That's all I ask. You can have the throne. The executioner waits silently. Holding an axe bigger than you. If you have any last words, now this is the time. I'll be heading off then. <laughs> Get it? Get it? I'm like, I'm like, is it too late to abdicate? But I also like the pun. Like, maybe the pun is so bad that they'll be like, okay, you, you're not worth, death is too good for you. Get out of here. Uh, I ha you know I love a good pun. Well, I'll be heading off then. Oh, you place no one, no reaction. No one fucking appreciated my pun. <laughs> you place your head on the block. The executioner lifts his massive axe. All I can think about is that TikTok person who like did the execution with Anne Boleyn. Oh yeah, yeah, Anne Boleyn. Yeah. 
Wait, you suddenly thought of a much better last words. You turn to the executioner and tell him, but the axe is already falling. Thunk. <gasps> this is what I get for sharing my stories about beheading people in my dreams, isn't it? It's true. Your head bounces and Grande Risa Kuma's lap. I hope you're happy. I'm staring at you with my dead eyes. And your reign comes to a gruesome end. Oh. Oh! Vote for, vote for Nerva! Y'all, vote for Nerva! Do it! Vote for, vote for Nerva! We were, Vina's a we betrayer! Betrayer God! Ruined by Anna! Go constantly vote for Nerva! Us. We are Come the on, Council Patricians! Pow! No, you can't do this! You can't do this! You gotta vote for Vina! Nope, nope, you. Counts! Nope! Counts! Why? Why would you do this? You could make mm, me a vampire! I love it! I love it! I love it! Thank you for avenging me. Nerva is the new pat or the new one. The patricians are victorious. Having lost the rebellious grandees, monarch boy king CEO is dragged out of the palace, decapitated in the city square. Oh my gosh, <laughs> that's so mean! <gasps> oh shit! Hold on, I haven't got there. As a reward for staying loyal to the monarch. The top counts were beheaded. <gasps> in public, the survivors swore loyalty to the new regime. In private, they swore vengeance. <gasps> oh, you voted for that. The you Grandies. That. The Grandies led by Risa Kuma launched a rebellion that toppled the monarch and devastated the kingdom. But when the dust cleared, they weren't quick or strong enough to seize the throne themselves. The patricians joined the rebellion alongside the Grandies. In the aftermath, they were the natural choice to take the throne. And Nerva was crowned the half-hearted cheers from the traumatized common folk. Y'all, we are going to get our revenge. Y'all, you counts? You voted for the patricians and you got beheaded. Endgame ledger. Monarch boy CEO. The defeated. The defeated. Rain length. Two years, nine months. Spouse Dimitri of the Coast who ran away. Maybe he'll, maybe he'll come back in the new game. Successor. Monarch Nerva. I am... S okay. Real talk, though. I am excited. Even though I got beheaded, now I want to continue the dynasty and see what happens. Like, will we get our revenge? Oh, that'd be interesting. Exactly. Like, that would be so cool. I want my child, Boy King CEO the second, to get revenge. So if we exit the game, do we have to see the, the Boy King? I don't know. Let's exit the game. Nope. We just go back to the start. All right, YouTube. Thank you so much for joining me on this King of the Castle. I hoped you enjoyed it because we sure had a lot of fun. Even though I got beheaded. That was real sad. But, oh well, I guess. We'll see. Oh Next well. And next time, we'll do New Dynasty, or not New Dynasty, we'll continue the game and see how that goes. I'm really interested because I haven't done um, continue game yet. So I'm I'm curious to see where it goes. Hopefully y'all like the series if you did, and you're here, please don't hesitate to give me a follow or like this video because it really helps um, in getting people to see this, co this content. Nick! You're amazing. Also, I got beheaded. I hope you're happy. Anyway, y'all, I'll see you next time. Goodbye.